I will. I will turn this car around and y'all are gonna get, like, Pong and that's it. That's all you get. And you're gonna like it. Pension guy wrote me and said he would update my salary in their system. Oh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed you get that done. Uh, okay, 11 Eastern. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, we, uh... We finished this kind of zone earlier. We have one thing down here that we cannot do until like chapter nine. So we will be back. Um, we did some piano yesterday. I traveled back using the boat for the first time. I hadn't done that in my initial playthrough. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get some story and some lore and some of the good stuff. Uh, you cannot proceed any further in your current attire. Get changed now, gosh darn it. Fine. What my Linux PC for gaming? Uh, oh, they even changed Yuffie. Okay. I guess that's fair. I was assuming it was just the swimsuits it was going to make a fuss about, but I guess it was a different outfit entirely. All right, Mount Corral. I want Nip Nops back. <laughs> Out of service. So we've got a walk? You'll be fine. Fresh air, nice view. The view ain't all that. Not unless you enjoy staring at ruined reactors. Right. You grew up around here, didn't you? <sighs> Let's get a move on. Hey, Cloud. The materia's like super condensed Mako or something, right? So? So? That means... Wherever we find Mako, we'll find Materia too! <laughs> Alright, timeout's over, team! Let's go! You know, Yuffie, when you're part of a team, you can't just do whatever you feel like. What? So does that mean I gotta run everything by you first? Yep. So that's the game. Fine. Permission to sing, sir? What? Permission to scratch my back, sir? Permission huh? to blow my nose, sir? Huh? Oh, <sighs> didn't get permission to yawn yet. Well, do I get permission or not? Sure, you can do it while you're warming the bench. That's an abuse of power. Tyrant, tyrant! Tifa, tell me your secret. How'd you put up with this jerk face? <laughs> His good qualities outweigh the bad. Yeah, by how much? Like 51% good guy to 49% jerk face? Maybe a little more than that. So what, like a 55-45 split? Close to. Not you too, Tifa. Okay, sorry, I was waiting for them to stop talking because it was... <laughs> it was interesting. I love that literal push into player control. Yeah, they... I... I... It's kind of fascinating that we have these shifts between cutscene to player control and they're very fluid these days. It's not like, you know, like an actual like fade to black for the most part. Just love how you, you just bullies Cloud. She does constantly, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. I got a lot of stuff. Uh... Craft. Oh, I can't really make most of the, or uh, many of those, can I? Cool the music is here. I don't think I really paid attention to it when I first came through. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. And you know what I haven't been doing this entire time, chat? I have not been updating these at all. <laughs> I have been so far behind. They're an engine now. Yeah, exactly. They're not like pre-rendered or like well for the most part. 
feel like the God of War reboot did a lot to help with the fluidity of transitions between cinematic and player control, but I could be forgetting a game the day before. Oh yeah! And then people were upset with a sequel, or with its sequel, because they reused a boat animation, was it? I really don't get it. <laughs> okay, uh, you, you have like the best thing on right now. Does that just do not much for me? Gives me more materia, I guess. Uh, let's put that one on for now. Reduce damage taken. Oh, okay, well, not actively controlled. Um, see, this is kind of nice because it means I don't have to have an assess materia on said character. Oh, I forgot how cute his keychain is. Slightly replenishes ATV gauge when using a weapon ability. They reuse a lot more than that, but it's a good thing. No, exactly. It's like not a bad thing. I don't understand the upset about it. Why would they change how they get in and out of a boat? I don't think the time span between the first and the second game is like that massive. I know there is a bit of a time jump, but like, why would you change that? <laughs> Uh, Grant's toad at the start. Oh, okay, that's the same people meant ring. Got you. Revival, revival. That I might want to put on, like, Aerith. Um, you know, I kind of like that. I kind of like that, actually. Magic defense. Let's get that on you. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's a speed thing, right? Okay. I kind of like having her just be really speedy, actually. I think I'm cool. I think I'm good with that. Um, oh! Haven't mentioned it yet, uh, but tomorrow, friends, I'm thinking we might do a demo day. We have the Steam Next Fest going on, and I think it's just kind of a fun time to, uh, to check out some cool demos. I already picked out a couple. Actually, I think I picked out all of them. <laughs> uh, I just need to set up. And then the other thing that's happening tomorrow is we're having the... Um, uh, the pigeon net go up, like like IRL, obviously, on my balcony. So Ollie needs to be in my room all day tomorrow. So there may or may not be chaos. Potentially. I don't... I'm gonna put that on you, but like, I don't... I feel like I need to stock up on my material. I don't really feel like I have any that I actually like really want to use. Just kind of putting them on to level them up. Okay. Uh, see, I use UV a lot, so that's not really worth it. Ollie can potentially. We'll see. If I'm on camera tomorrow, you'll probably see him running around. If I'm not, you'll probably get an Ollie cam. those for now. Where's the air? There you are. Okay. Um. There you go. I like that one for you. Okay. Anyway, there's a deer. They're no longer deer. They have run off. I think Aerith might need a break. Oh, wow. That... Sorry. My legs are killing me. That camera shift. <laughs> Let's rest here. But if we stop now, the materia... I mean, the mystery men might slip away. Hey, I know what to do. I'll go on ahead and stop the area for us. You guys can catch up later. Well, see ya. <laughs> catch up later, my ass. <sighs> Think I'd better go keep an eye on them. Barrett's not himself right now, you know? 
I know. Take your time, okay? No need to rush. Thanks. Will do. <laughs> Red was in a bush. <laughs> Oh, they just took two of my most used party members. <laughs> Gosh, Jordan. Okay, well, um... Cloud's good, I know that much. We're set for him. Fire, vitality, lightning. Uh, poison, lightning again, cleansing. with what you have. Hmm? Well, I think I'll leave you. You're good. Stop giving me Dara. <laughs> oh, hello, sir. He's just like, don't mind me. I'm just I'm seeing what sort of goodies you got. All right, well, we'll see how we do. Any, any goodies? There's a funky thing, whatever the heck that was. I've had the biggest itch to go through Final Fantasy X again recently. I don't know if it's just because of that silly trombone video I sent in the Discord a while back. Um, or just seeing clips of it here and there, but I really want to go through and actually finish it. But of course, I get that itch right when I'm like playing Persona 3 Reload, and it's like, don't, don't start two big RPGs at once. <laughs> Just don't, it's a bad idea. Uh, well, guarding? Sure, if I can ever get my timing right. SMP? Sure, why not? Yeah, I think the last time I played was a good, like... God, I want to say, like, maybe four years ago now? It's a big one, yeah. Oh, did you beat it, actually? How was it? How did you enjoy it overall? Of course, without, like, you know, spoilers, but... I think I'm enjoying it um, okay, let's see. I think I'm enjoying it right now. I think Persona 5 and especially Royal is kind of a hard game to follow. So even though it's like a more modern version of Persona 3, I can still feel that like, you know, it's it's a little lacking here and there, but that's okay. Oh, was that the same day? I know you were trying to go after um, uh, Reaper when I came in, I think. Nintendo baby, yeah. Why would you do that to yourself? Because it's good. Plus the protect stats effect upon entering battle. This is actually kind of interesting. I might do that. I think they're just a big tank. He beat the Reaper later on. I was trying to grind so you could use. Okay, no, Peeper Sona got you, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's. A oh, whoopsies, Yuffie. Yeah. Yeah, you got a lot of experience from it. I've only ever beat the Reaper once, which is in five. Royal, and there's ways and means to very, very easily cheese it if you're playing on the easiest difficulty. <laughs> so I just sat there and cheesed it. One day maybe I'll do it properly, but... Uh, yeah, give us an ATB boost. That sounds good. Increase luck. Fire lightning... Or fire ice lightning when damage. That sounds good because we use the elemental ninjutsu so often. I'd like that. Uh, synergy damage. Uh, 
I want to send a piece of trash around Stardew Valley and struggles with almost everything else. <laughs> hey, at least it runs Stardew. Never fought the Reaper. The noise it makes chasing you freaks me out, so I book it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, tell me about it. I think my first encounter with a Reaper in Persona was in 4, and I didn't know what was happening. I just heard chain suddenly. And next thing I know, I had lost all my progress for the day in that dungeon, and I got real pissed. <laughs> Uh, and then I heard it again in uh, in Five Royal, and I immediately booked it off that floor. And then eventually I learned what it was. Uh, Itsu, I did not. I did not. Uh. So Itsu, wait a minute. I think it may have blocked out your chat. Bear with me. I understand why it's a bit complicated to explain is one thing. Oh. Okay, so I saw you mentioning you understand why they had different, or people are upset about different boat animations, I think. And then the next message I see is hope that made sense. So I think it got rid of a big block of text. <laughs> I really wish Twitch would warn you, being like, hey, this message is too big, you can't actually post it. Simply Stardew on a car. My laptop being able to run it isn't a compliment. <laughs> right. Hey, we always need more Stardew. Not a right. bad thing. No. Get him! That's it! Yeah. <laughs> no, no. It does warn you. Sometimes, yeah, that's the thing. Sometimes. I tried again, I'm nothing. Try if you're able to split the message, like if you have it copy and pasted. Last chance. Here we go. Okay, my uh, ETP powers up real quick now. Oh, Rebecca, was it? Does it count as a game console if you can play OG Doom on it? No, because I'm pretty sure you can play OG Doom on a birth... No, not birth control test. That doesn't make sense. On a pregnancy test. <laughs> so... <laughs> People don't like it when they feel like a company has cut corners. If they're playing full price, it should be for a full new game, not a game with bits from older games. People really do not understand how much is copied. They'd never be able to see. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I still think that's dumb, personally. Like, if they spent time making something... Um, like the awesome music in this game. Let's go there, right? They spent time working on this amazing soundtrack for the first game. I'm gonna enjoy it just as much when I hear it again. I enjoy the new music, too. But, like... I don't know, I enjoy it. I enjoy hearing something familiar and a song that I like. I'm not against it. But like with the animations and stuff, like, I, I, eh, people be picky. I was gonna say my favorite game console was the Smart Fridge followed by the TI-84 calculator. <laughs> oh boy. I forgot about these. Look at how cute that is. They did like, hey, we're going this way. Don't mind things being reused. I just want the game to run nicely and not have game breaking bugs. Yep. Is the Commodore 64 a console? Itsu? I don't know what that is. <laughs> I guess, I don't know. You tell me. Is that like a whole new area? Oh, it is. I know it's an older thing, but I don't know what it is personally. It's a home computer from the 90s. Okay, so there's the word computer there. 
been made by Microsoft? Who's it made by? Yes, I got it. Allow me. No way. It's on now. You're done. Okay. Perfect. Is it just Commodore as the company? They could be, but if you went up to Microsoft and went, okay, what is your console lineup? They're going to mention, like, the Xbox. Like, one, S, and X, and series, blank, whatever the heck they call their things now. Like, that's what I'm talking about. I foresaw this, you know, this morning. I'm like, this question is going to get people questioning everything. <laughs> Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Never understand the nitpicks about reusing animations I see on Twitter, like the debacle it was. Yeah, God of War Ragnarok using the pushing a boat into the water animation. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Rebecca, enjoy your food. I was just looking at these guys and I don't remember what they're weak to. Freeze. Now. <laughs> Microsoft oh, don't even Italian soccer slash football league Xbox. <laughs> People are just nitpicky about everything so it can be very tiring. Yeah. I tend to prefer to just, I don't know. I'm happy. I'm very easily pleased. Is X Cloud a console? No, it, that's a, that's a sh half of a ship pairing. <laughs> Who are we bearing Cloud with? Uh. Okay. Sorry, I had a text message pop up, and I'm like, the heck is this? Remember, oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't remember if there's like actually any goodies down here, or if it's just kind of like an extra bit of exploration and some enemies and things to pick up. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. I always love it when I'm able to hit all at once. No time to waste. PlayStation... PlayStation does what now? Get ready. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have no idea what the X Cloud actually is. <laughs> I should have mentioned that. Anyone in here uh, thinking of getting or has actually got the PlayStation Portal? I think it's already out. Is it just their cloud service? It's like PlayStation Now. Okay. Alright. 
Admit the nice big screen on the portal looks cool and all, but I have the exact same thing but like at home. <laughs> I just have my phone and a backbone, and I'm good. It's over. Only the strong survive. I've crappy internet, so I don't even think to use stuff like that. Like my internet isn't very good. Uh, but you know, as long as I'm in my in my home, I can I can stream essentially my PlayStation games to my phone. Usually, no problem. I wouldn't play a game with like timed button inputs on it. But like you know, if I'm playing like God, I don't even know Persona, um, Harvest Moon, like Story Season, Stardew stuff like that, I could I could play on there. Uh, and he up. Nice. Did you miss that one? I think I remembered it vaguely, just because there's like this little cutoff here that looks really awkward. I feel like by the end you have like a whole lack of MP ups and stuff like that. Is that like in Japanese? Does that actually say something? So there's an up there, but there's this over here. And I will never ever go the right way first. Don't hold back. You're <laughs> never in doubt. Okay, so there's an up there. Uh, if that's anything. The next game you can get multiple of the combined element material. Yes. Oh my goodness. If I could have that on everyone. I right, like yes. Kind of broken. Slightly cloud. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Never the right way first. Always explore everywhere else because exploration is fun. Exploration is fun and goodies are awesome. All right. Oh. Well then. This is that is a problem. Moving on then. I feel like those were made for air specific to spam. More MP ups on hurry, yep. Here we go. Oh, I have not scanned you. Too bad. Oh. Rude. Have you guys heard that there's a little like text to speech voice in this song, by the way? Okay, no escape now. That or I have some text to speech somewhere on my computer and I'm hearing it every time, but I, I don't think I am. <laughs> Let's finish this. It's over. That's it. See you around. Walking down a corridor only to backtrack down the corridor to go to the other corridor you were meant to go down for. Um in that way, no. But at least this game makes it feel a bit more like an exploration instead of just corridors. It is! Don't get me wrong, there are corridors, but it doesn't feel nearly as bad as uh, other games I've checked out. Is this...? Oh, okay, that's just that. Cool. Um, and then I think 
this way would have led the way that we could have come up. Yes, okay. No. No. See, it's not even just like, yes, Final Fantasy 13 is from what I played the glorious for it. Moving on then. Um, but there's others that are very guilty of it too, so I can't even blame it entirely. Exactly, remake is similar, but it just, I don't know, it never felt that bad to me. Um, this game's a heck of a lot better for it, just because of the big open world segments. Best line incoming. You still holding up okay? Yeah, feeling great actually. Could do this all day. It's like, it's like someone's pulling me up. You've become one with the mountain. Say what? Really? I did? Hey! Thanks for having me! What the hell are you doing, Red? Relax. It happens to all new climbers. If she passes out, I'll carry her. <laughs> Let's, go! <laughs> Let's go! She's just having this climber's high. Huh? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Bring it. I never got the complaint. This is just like all the other ones. Why is it now a problem? So with like 13, and this is just my personal experience, right? I didn't play through a heck of a lot of it. I gave it a good attempt. I think I got maybe like, I want to see like 15 hours in. And by that point, I found the characters incredibly funny, unfortunately. Um, so I didn't really have that to lead me along. Like, you know, I didn't have any any desire to see where the characters were going because I just found them kind of annoying. Which again, fair. Totally fine. Um, and I googled it. I'm like, okay, it's been Hallway Simulator for the first 15 hours. And I, I literally googled, when does Final Fantasy 13 open up? And the answer was something like 60 hours in. And I'm like, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you can't say that to me. Because apparently there's like one big like open section later on where you get a whole bunch of quests and stuff. When do we get to the game? This is the game! <laughs> and again, some people like that and that's fine and that's totally fine. I think with this, you know, I obviously already have this pre-attachment to the characters. Um, even though, yes, there could be definitely some whiny segments. Cloud is a whiny bitch, but I love him. Um, and I think over the over the years, obviously, when there are the hallway segments, I think they're a lot better at doing them instead of it actually feeling like a proper hallway. Even though, yes, this is a corridor. <laughs> this is a corridor and we know it. Um, with Remake, it was a lot of like, oh my god, I am so excited that this project is finally happening. I want to see all the new characters and all the new voice acting. And what they've done with this essentially three hour section of the game, they like, expanded it into like, what, 30 hours? Okay, just back there. Um, and then we get here and I have this attachment to these characters, these specific ones, instead of just the OG story. Um, and then they open it up and it's beautiful and it's open world. And... Fuck the dick, but he's our dick. Phrasing, but yes. <laughs> But yeah, that's just that's just my personal experience of it. One day I will go and sit through Fall Fantasy because I want to see what people were raving about it. Obviously, it was popular enough to get two sequels. I think it was. Not to mention, it's now one of the few I haven't played. So, like, it, it, there's a matter of principle. It's the same thing with Final Fantasy VIII. I didn't really like that very much. But I will sit through it one day.
<laughs> something, something, first command. <laughs> Let's do it. I've been children in the novels talking about forgetting to catch these characters upon the seven compilations. Yeah, so like, um, I was actually talking to Titus about this the other day in his stream. Um, he was playing Kingdom Hearts and all the memories of your, like, walking Kingdom Hearts, right? Um, and I mentioned that Kingdom Hearts is what got me, uh, into Final Fantasy. I had never played a Final Fantasy before. And I saw Cloud, and Aerith, and Yuffie, and Squall, uh, and Sib, and I was like, oh, these are kind of interesting characters, and I heard from a friend, a majority of them were from Seven, so that's why I chose Seven first, and I fell head over heels for it. <laughs> uh, Linearity of the games, even if they're open. These days ain't got no manners. You greet each other, it's proper. This man's carroting uh, over here. Uh, even if they open up the map of the game, it doesn't really add anything to the no game. Manners. As the story you doesn't fit the world very fair. Proper. I heard Final Fantasy VIII has some issues. I kind of uh, want to skip ahead to nine. Nine is really fun. No um, eight is you very, very different, proper. I would argue. Uh, I tell you, hikers these days ain't got no manners. And it's literally here trying to get my attention. Proper. Well, I'll be. Finally, folks who've got some manners. I don't get it. Tons of folks hiking up the mountain today, and not a one of them so much as nodded my way. Even tried calling out to a few sick-looking fellas all in black, and what did I get? Silence. Hikers <sighs> these days never learned to greet each other or something. Listen, okay. Those guys are having a really rough time. <laughs> did you miss him? I couldn't. I was there. He's based on an original character, so like I was waiting to see him, um, and all I heard is him mumbling in the distance, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's the other thing I think that kind of got me with Final Fantasy is you don't have to play them in any order except for like you know, 10, 10, 2, 13, 13, 2, so on. Um, and it's kind of nice to be able to pick and choose and kind of jump in. With what might interest you. Allow me. Get ready. Oh, it's these guys. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't even notice these guys. Bad time over here, and Red and I were just completely ignoring. Shatter. Let's finish this. Uh, if anyone remembers, is there a weapon here? I don't think so. Okay. Sometimes I feel like I, uh, I miss out on some of the weapons and I don't even realize it. But with, uh, the Elder Scrolls, but the world is still the same. Not sure why. Final Fantasy is even a series since the world is different between them. The gameplay is different. Anything can be a Final Fantasy at this point. Yeah, it, they have, like, their, their elements that tie them all together. But I don't know. I kind of enjoy that. I kind of enjoy that they're on their their own unique thing instead of being, you know, the same universe. Here we go. Hey, Paul. How are you doing? Now. Welcome on. Doing good. That's what I like to hear. 
Oh, I'm kind of hoping we find a bench or something soon. There are benches, but apparently these ones are not suitable for uh, for sitting. Oh shit, Uh oh, think the others are okay? We'll see. Oh. Benches? No. Yeah. Get him! First, that's it. Of where the next set of weapons are to get an overwall. Um, we have Corel coming up. I assume there's gonna be something there for Yuffie because she only has the one weapon currently, and I know that there's a section where you just play as her. Without my bench. As long as you copy Final Fantasy 17, you play through it, you really enjoy it, and they tell you it actually wasn't Final Fantasy, it was another completely other series, how would you feel now? I mean, I'd be upset that they lied to me, but I wouldn't be mad. Like, about enjoying the game. <laughs> I think the only, like, Aeris, what are you doing back there? <laughs> what are you doing? He's like, I'm hiding. <laughs> um, I think the only thing that kind of blows about that, actually, now that I think about it. Hey, cat lover, good morning. Am I always doing all right? Um, is if you have a certain Final Fantasy style that you really enjoy, like you with 13, let's say, Sue, and they only do that style really the one time, you know, that kind of sucks. I thought she was kicking the vending machine. She's like, I want, I want some goodies. I want some snacks. Did I sit? I did. Okay. And bird friends doing good. I'm glad to hear it. Some of them, they're all Come my favorite on. Turks. Out you go. Again? Well, look who it is. <clears throat> you here to pick a fight? What? Oh, <laughs> no. Just dropping off some unruly passengers. They were fine when we left Junon. And then they weren't. So, here we are. Don't know why. One minute they were okay, and the next... Eh, whatever. This is way above my pay grade. So, that's it? Well, since you're here... Five versions of Valkyrie, a high speed ergo weapon manufactured by Shinra's advanced weaponry division. It's been newly equipped with flamethrowers, allowing it to transform the battlefield into a sea of flames. Uh, inflicting enough damage by exploding its elemental weakness will pressure it while it's using cooling protocol to become easy to pressure or easier. 
The gameplay was still the same, just more modern. I could see it being different. Like, this is the turn-based combat series to change everything. Yeah, I think Final Fantasy, I think they're trying to evolve. I think there's there's two sides. There's people who really enjoy turn-based combat and they just want to see a more modern turn-based combat. And then there's people who aren't big on the turn-based combat and enjoy the more like action RPG kind of stuff. And there's this weird mesh of trying to please both sides in this game. And then there's like Final Fantasy 16 where they're just trying to do action RPG. I think you feel like you missed a weapon because you could have got oh a red weapon with the mini game. That's why. That's why. Oh my shit, so villainous and so hot in that suit simultaneously. <laughs> Is that the best name calling Elena can do? That's cute. Is it just? Is it just Valkyrie? Rebecca, how is your food? So, let's check in the plane. So, it's my turn? Here, it's here for a bit. Uh, that was I can't something. remember. What sort of badge have we got on you? One more shot! Okay, I got thunder. That's a good start. Oh, jeez. This toasty. I don't like that one side will say the other is bad. Um, the other one is just bad game design. I'm like, no, it's called having a preference. Exactly, yeah. No, everyone's entitled to like what they like. That's fine. I'm pretty sure this track is using in the first game for the trailers. You know what? It sounds familiar, so you're probably right, I think, on that one. Uh, let's go to work. Okay, so they said during the cooling protocol, it's going to be a lot easier to, uh, to pressure. Why don't you leave the way? There we go, that's good. I don't really have a higher level arrow or thunder, unfortunately. It's on you. Spread a little bit here just because I don't want to make synergy with everything. <laughs> Okay, I'm good for another. Uh, I have. I don't really have that many limits with the uh, cloud and red. Buzz off. Oh, but I do have a limit though. Don't I'll stop now. This. Let's do this. Baby. 
Wow, that might have been cloud. Yeah, no worries, have fun. You're done! Let me know uh, how it goes. What a team! Guess the Turks are back on duty, huh? Wish they'd all go on vacation. For real. Come on. We need to find the others. <gasps> Hello. I'm fine. The next order of business is the Magnus Materia project. Oh. As you are aware, this would have been a scene. simultaneous like. energy spikes were detected in Mako reactors across the world. After analyzing the data from each site, we found the spikes stemmed from the arrival of visitors. Unfathomably large life forms. Oh, is that a weapon? Based on available information, it would seem so. They supposedly appear when the planet is in danger. And each one carries an enormous orb of materia. More specifically, an orb from which they themselves were born. They are living enigmas. Organisms dying to be understood. And finally, my dream of capturing one is within reach. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give to peel one's flesh back, pull it apart, and see what makes it tick. What? Your wish, Professor, will soon be granted. We'll all get what we want once that materia is ours. This is ridiculous. Why waste time months? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I need Rufus and Scarlet to spit roast me. Oh dear. <laughs> hunting when we're on the brink of creating the materia ourselves i'm aware of your efforts but it would behoove us to obtain naturally occurring specimens as well well they would look good in the lobby <laughs> put them in the bathroom for all i care just leave me the carcasses those i'll take mr president please what is this really about? Wu Tai is after them. Well, talk about burying the lead. Heidegger, I'll need troops. My finest for the Madam Director. <laughs> Mr. President. Oh, yes. There's a question I, I never had the chance to ask your father. Perhaps you could speak on his behalf. Hmm. We used Avalanche's activities as a cover to sabotage our own reactors and destroy Sector 7. Your father assured us these acts were in service to the Neo Midgar project. However, the fact remains that we have yet to locate the promised land of legend or even confirm if it actually exists. <laughs> Great though he was. My father was old, and in his dotage, he became rash. But while we're on the subject, there's something I've been meaning to ask all of you regarding those decisions. Why is it that none of you even tried to stop him? <sighs> Turn that around so fast. Mm -hmm. Shinra must change. We must break new ground, grow stronger, smarter, observe, adapt, expand, control. My father built his empire with your loyal support, and I demand the same. I expect you all to prove that you are devoted not only to the company, but to me. I just want to note how Hojo was the last one to get up there. And like, <gasps> sorry, I'm going to cry. 
<laughs> he really is not there for Shinra, let's put it that way. I'm fine. Yeah? Let me in. I don't like these sections. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I need to talk. <sighs> Not off by like a second either. Yeah, he was very slow to get up. That's always Hojo. Never really there for Shinra. So really quick, I just wanted to talk while we have a moment to stare at Zack um, about what we just saw and this is kind of going into og and it's kind of going into what i think is going to be in part three and i know i've talked about this with affection um in the original there were two different kind of like things going on at once towards the end there was the weapons which are these planet created monstrosities that are there to protect and if something is deemed as a threat they will go after it including people <laughs> um and they're large and they just destroy everything. Um, and then the other thing that was going on was this huge materia quest. The uh, Shinra company was after these large materia. And what they were going to do is put them all together in a rocket and shoot it at an imminent threat. And it always felt kind of weird. Because for once, Shinra was not doing something for themselves there. They were actually trying to save the world. Because if they didn't carry out this plan the entire world's going to be decimated and it felt really weird always that cloud and the party went out of their way to grab these large materia away from shinra you literally steal them and it's like yes you're sticking it to shinra but like they're actually trying to do something good here um i think and i think again my me and affection both talked about this i think we've both seen this in other places as well so not entirely my own theories at all um I just like to regurgitate information. Um, they're combining the large materia with the weapons here. Um, and the weapons, they look very different. They're very fishy <laughs> in this one, at least the ones that we've seen. And I think I really love the idea, Hi. boy King Cobra, uh, that they are baby weapons. They're not like the big, big boys. Um... And they are actually holding and are a part of the big materia in this game instead of being separate entities. Um, I have a suspicion in the third game, Shinra is still, obviously, we know they want to go after the big materia and they're not afraid to tear down these weapon babies, um, you know, to get them. I have a feeling instead of us trying to steal the big materia, I think we're going to be protecting the big weapon babies and stopping Shinra from getting the materia out of them and i love that idea because i don't really want to fight them they're 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 big babies <laughs> playing the sims let's just say a neighbor called me asked me if cereal is a soup when i said no they told me to check my source <laughs> oh deadly sim which sims is that for i hope you've been having fun with it though all right anyway yeah i i'm ready i'm also not ready for this this <sighs> the zach sections make me cry <laughs> Elmira? Zack, right? Yeah. Where is she? Upstairs. It's in speedy article. <laughs> hey, Serena. So again, last time we had seen Zack was the very, very beginning of the game, and he's come back to Midgar with a comatose cloud, and just things are hitting the fan. Like, he managed to save Aerith, but, like, Red died. Like, it's it's kind of crazy. And this is where we're at now. I'm going to take her home. Now slow down. I've been to your place. Shinra's got it staked out. Not anymore. They have bigger things to worry about. But... And I can't leave her with you. Of course you can. Just look at Cloud. I've been taking care of... No, you haven't. Look at the state you've left her in. You didn't even wipe her face, for goodness sake. 
I'm sorry. Your note had me worried, and now that I'm here, I can see that I was right to be concerned. I brought a wheelchair for Aerith. But if Cloud's coming too, you'll just have to carry him. Think you can handle that? Yeah, I can do that much. That's Aerith, uh... Yes, I know. She okay? You're okay. Right, Aerith? Hey, Elmira. Yes? What happened to this place? The world's ending. At least, that's what everyone's saying. Which way do you think Midgar is? It would be east of here. That way. I wonder how my mom's doing back there. She seemed fine when I saw her. Maybe a little worried. She's gonna hate me for this. Talk to her as soon as you get home. She'll understand. Really looking forward to that conversation. I don't like those sections. <laughs> they come out of nowhere and just punch you in the feels and then leave. And you're about to continue on and be okay with it. I need to go back and. Can I go back? I don't know if there's another bench, so. I'm going to back and find the old one. <laughs> but yeah, um, obviously a couple things to note there. Zach is alive. Has a comatose cloud and a, I guess we're just going to say for now, comatose Aerith. Um, and a white materia that hasn't gone clear. Again, we, we know from last time. Eris one here. She hers has gone clear. It's it's lost its uh I guess color, maybe is what you'd call it. So just just things to keep in mind. You remember this punches feelings into you. Okay, bye. <laughs> It was a nice feeling, or like, you know, fiddling with your emotions. Have fun. Over here! Sorry, we're late! Oh, did you? <laughs> you okay? Everything yep. went low res for a really second. Really worked up a sweat. So, how'd recon go? All clear. No nasty surprises, and no materia. <laughs> we managed to catch her before she could get as far as the reactor. Which is the whole reason we're here. So hurry it up, or those hooded guys will beat us to it. 
All right, so we are back with uh, Tifa and Yuffie. I'm happy. <laughs> My group is back together. Speaking of baby weapons, yeah, we get to see a little one. I say little, they're still big babies, but. That's it. And if I saw one IRL, I'd be very scared of it. But yeah, this is the uh, another section you got to explore in OG, which was the ruined uh, Corel reactor. And we'll definitely hear more about how it got this way soon. But kind of an interesting look at like just how large it is. Because obviously we've been in reactors, but they have been enclosed, right? Hey, so what's the deal with all these creepy hooded guys anyway? Call them They're creepy. generous victims. Huh. Well, they're in good company. I'll give them that. Hmm? How you figure? When Shinra invaded Wutai, it was pretty bad. They leveled towns, killed thousands. And when the dust settled, they forced some BS truce on us. I thought both sides wanted a ceasefire. <laughs> The old geezers at the top did, yeah. But the rest of us were pissed. They'd been running Wutai into the ground for years. It was the last straw. We were done. Everyone was ready to kick those old farts to the curb. And that's when Colonel Lodbrock's team showed up. Three ex-soldiers ready to join the cause. Who'd you say? Lodbrock! His squad saved Wutai from those senile old fossils. Paved the way forward! They didn't do it alone, though. While the Colonel's crew was rallying the people, their friend Viceroy Saruf agreed to help. Then, bam! Revolution! And that is how the interim government was born. Revolution, huh? Y'all did good! <laughs> but... why the interim? Because... Once this war with Shinra's behind us, the whole country's gonna come together and decide what kind of government we want. Which is why we're doing everything we can to make sure the interim ends in independence. Pretty cool, right? Just gonna stand there? Let's get going! A little bit of... Yuffie backstory there. Hey, you mixed guys, how are you? Welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. We're doing a lot of, a lot of lore and story stuff today, but it's always my favorite anyway. Hi, buddy. I think Barrett saying that these are Shinra's victims is probably like the best thing he could have said to Yuffie, by the way. She has so much hate for Shinra just for multi multiple reasons. Um, and that is definitely a surefire way to get her on our side to help out our uh, our hooded friends. <gasps> hey Jenny, how are you? Welcome on in. I forgot to ask it too earlier. How's Tiggy doing today hey, as well? Come look at this. And uh, question of the day, by the way, this is- I'm gonna be kind of a hard ass about this, so fair warning. But question of the day, you can only have one company's console line up for the rest of your life, which you'd choose, Nintendo, Sony, or Microsoft. And I do mean console. PC is not an option. Steam Deck, not an option. Just those companies' console lineups. Oh, hey! Azure Penguin Gaming, thank you so very much for the raid! How was your stream today? Thank you so very much! And thank you for the follow. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, you all can let me know what you were up to. And for anyone who's new, uh, thank you for the follow again! My name is Crystal. We're playing some Final Fantasy VII Rebirth right now. It is probably my game of the year. Uh, I have played it through once, but we're keeping story minimum, or story spoilers, sorry, to a minimum in chat, just so everyone can enjoy it if they haven't seen it yet. So, welcome on in. 
Were you also playing some Rebirth? Whereabouts are you? I'm, I'm intrigued. <laughs> Love your avatar, so cute. Thank you. Can buy these guys some solid sneakers or something. Oh, Happy 26 guys. months. And for the answer to the question, Nintendo for me. I grew up with Nintendo. Grew up with Nintendo, right? Yeah, it's a hard choice. I'm stuck between Nintendo and Sony, personally. Is it a cat or a hamster? He's actually... So, um... <laughs> I get this at, uh, question a lot. A lot of people think hamster. Um, he's actually... We call him Tater Tot, or Tater for short. He's based on a Shiba. Shiba Inu plushie that I own. Um, but honestly, he's just a Tater. He can be whatever he wants to be. <laughs> Cat, hamster, doesn't matter. I've had ferret before, too. But yeah, thank you so much. And if you guys need to read and run as well, please feel more than free. Um, question of the day as well. I was just asking, just as you guys all came in. Um, if you could only have one company's console lineup for the rest of your life, so previous consoles and future consoles, would you choose Nintendo, Sony, or PlayStation? <gasps> Shall we? Oh, that's so cute. Is it is it is it another Shiba or is it like a uh, a corgi? Because I also love corgis. <laughs> I adore them. Oh, yes. Oh, corgis are so cute. If I could have one dog breed, it would probably be a corgi. <laughs> I think they're the perfect size. Uh, sorry. I think I just missed some chat. I kind of need a PC for more than games. I know, I know, it makes it kind of, kind of hard. I'll say you could have a PC, but never for gaming. How about that? So, like, all that stuff down there is Mako. Yep. Then it's got to be hiding some ginormous materia. Oh, I'm gonna be so powerful and scary. <sighs> It's a baby. Ah. <laughs> what the hell it's was like that thing? World. A weapon. Huh? Tutelary creatures said only to appear when the planet is in grave danger. Hojo has sought them for years. Did you see what was inside it? That had to have been the biggest freaking materia ever! Just gotta figure out how to catch that overgrown fish. That guardian of the planet? Whatever. I'm not about to let a materia that beautiful get away. And just so we're clear, it's mine. I called it. Cool. You fish. Huh? We'll keep moving. Hey, not cool. This isn't goodbye, sweet weapon. I'll be back for you soon. <laughs> A guardian beast like that wouldn't show up unless Shinra had really pushed the planet to the edge. Meaning, Avalanche was right about the threat they posed all along. We were, weren't we? Yeah. But don't forget, Shinra's not the only problem. Right. Sephiroth is still out there. He is, and talking won't stop him. Okay, sorry, I wanted to make sure I let that cutscene uh, just play out or talking over stuff. Um, but yeah, no, I normally stream until around 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, it's currently only just about uh, 11.25 in the morning so still got quite a bit of time left he's currently playing with a bit of his fur and eating it he's good his ultra says gonna be next so they're gonna try to do it without sedation if he'll lay still and they're being very sensitive to how stressed i am about him that's so good i'm glad you found a, a good bet for him a hospital appointment which is okay but stressful too take it easy today hopefully for the rest of the day got the pension stuff sorted and i won't have to think about it for another hopefully many years yay there you go. Uh, for those coming back, how was the Dragon Age gameplay reveal thing? Uh, 
poor guy didn't sound so happy. <gasps> no worries. Thank you so very much for the lurk. I always appreciate those. I hope your walk is good. Better than you were expecting. Oh yeah, I'm bed rotting back in my spot. Heck yeah. In a positive, or in a word, ah, uh, positive. <laughs> or you vibrate. Whenever I get into an elevator in a video game, I have to admit, I always expect characters' hair, like longer hair, to go flying up. Uh, I think it was my time at Sandrock that did that a lot when it first came out, and it always looked really funny. Uh, it might be affection. I think I saw a tweet about that recently. Sharing... Uh, to Twitter from Switch is officially over, end of an era, yeah. It's a bit of a shame, I didn't do it very often, but... It was still nice for people, especially you, Rebecca, I know, yes. like, like to share their clips and stuff. You're gonna lurk, sounds good. I hope the, the migraine or your head is feeling a bit better. Here we go, I take the lead. Here I go! <laughs> One step at a time. Got lots of boxes. Definitely handy and the quickest way to yes, uh, share screenshots. I want to say I hope for the next console maybe they'll have like an easier way to do things, but it probably wouldn't be to Twitter if uh, they keep up the policies or the was it the pricing? I think it was. But they were asking of these companies to share stuff. Oh, 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 there we go. Can't cross till we lower it. Well, this sucks. What? You know this area, don't you? <clears throat> Control room's up there, at the top of the cliff. How do we reach it? Through the mine. Won't be a walk in the park, though. Place has been abandoned for years. Huh? <sighs> We're working on it. Just wait a minute. Hey! Cloud! Come on. What are the creatures that do that off cliffs? I want to say the lemmings, but I don't think that's correct. Perhaps the Mako got to him. Regardless, he's clearly tired. Cloud could rest here while a couple of us go and lower the bridge, yeah? <laughs> Works for me. When that thing rings, you'll know we're done. And you, don't move till you're good and ready. All right, put on your mining helmets and follow me. Uh, okay, this is the team I want to bring anyway. Uh, what I will do, though, however, is we're just going to steal some material off Cloud. <laughs> uh, so we have fire and ice and lightning. Wind. Uh... 
spirits and missing smash are friendly on the regular spirit floor getting them now very nice we got goofy now we did ace how are you mr wonderful as well welcome on in friends i hope you're all having a fantastic day i think that's us set i'll just make sure i didn't miss any any chat so you figured out exactly the place to sit so that he's directly in front of you when you exit the bathroom by millimeter so he doesn't get bonked by the door. Could he please teach Ollie? Ollie is... He's smart, but not smart sometimes. Oh, you got no sleep? Sorry about that. I always hate when that happens. It's like, I'm tired. Why am I not sleeping? Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick sit here because it's really cute how Yuffie sits on the bench. It looks painful though. Back to Lurk just wanted to say hi. It's all good. Okay, and before we head out, one, it's a really cute rendition of Yuffie's song. Two, I've been having a lot of water. I need to pee really quickly. Give me like three minutes and I'll just be right back. I'm not even going to change the scene. A um, couple, couple minutes. Oh, I did forget to use the Itsu command. My bad. My bad. Oh, man, I was looking over at the time, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to make it until 1230 when I normally go on break. I made myself a really big bubble tea this morning and just, like, inhaled that before stream and thought I'd be fine, but apparently not. It's your last day of teaching. Oh, for the school year. Do you have any plans for your summer? Oh, well, that's okay. <laughs> Missed the event with the new Xenoblade, Tears of Kingdom, Pikmin, Splatoon, Free Spirits. Somehow forgot about it happening at the time. So I woke me up at 12.30 to go out, and then I spent the rest of the time tossing and turning. And my head was mean to me! I don't want to bully your head, but also at the same time, I swear. Be nice to yourself. Oh my god. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth oh my god. the Wise? I thought not. It's not a story the Jedi would tell you. It's a Sith legend. Darth Plagueis was a Dark Lord of the Sith, so powerful and so wise he could use the Force to influence the midi-chlorians to create life. He had such a knowledge of the dark side that he could even keep the ones he cared about from dying. I'm surprised he read that all out. Usually there is a cutoff. 
And I think you're just below the cutoff. The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. He became so powerful. The only thing he was afraid of was losing his power, which eventually, of course, he did. Unfortunately, he taught his apprentice everything he knew, then his apprentice killed him in his sleep. Ironic. He could save others from death, but not himself. Thank you for that, Ed. <laughs> Brian is a Star Wars nerd, confirmed. Next week you go on vacation, perks of having done teaching. Before the summer vacation, yeah, getting some, some much needed time off. Right, so this is kind of our introduction to like Yuffie's gameplay. It's very similar to what she had in her DLC. Um, she is able to target far off things, get items from boxes that normally we would not be able to reach. Uh, she also has like grappling hook kind of things going on. It's kind of fun. I enjoy her, her stuff. I thought it was actually gonna let me jump there for a second. Uh oh. Oh, oh, no, we're good, we're good. I was gonna do that while you were away, but I needed to split it and I didn't do it in time. Sorry. I should have gone slower. I thought that was an alert. Barrett, I swear, I thought that was an alert. It was not. It was just you. It's gonna get confusing. <laughs> I was looking around. I'm like, the heck? Where's the alert? Uh, another question is if the last two will actually show up on the board for me. Well, fingers crossed for you. Is everyone... It's optional in the first game. Hard to get to join your party in this game. Nope. Um, this game makes it very straightforward. It's literally just continue playing through the story uh, and you'll get everyone. Which way? Uh, with that thing. But we're gonna have to power it on first. Oh. On the next episode of Brian Talks Star Wars, is Jar Jar the ultimate Sith Lord or the perfect Jedi double agent? Like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to save 20% on your next G Fuel order using code simply press start. Why did you have such a pause between simply and press start? Thank you so much for the biddies, Jacob, <laughs> and for my, my, my little promo. Yeah, so Yuffie and Vincent were um, optional side characters in the first one. Uh, here, they are not optional. Um, that being said, Sid and Vincent are in the game and they can join your party, but they're not like playable characters. Um, they're just kind of like there to, to hang out and look cool. <gasps> You're gonna grab some bubble tea before school? Enjoy! I kind of want more. Generator's just across the way. Gotta use that grappling hook. Shouldn't be a problem for you, right? <laughs> None at all. Conveniently located grappling hook. Alright. L2 to hook. Move to next object. Swing. Land. Got you. Oh, hello. You got the the achievements uh, for Shovel Knight, thanks. Nice, very nice. Okay, so he has a new weapon. What the? When, when the heck did I get this? All right, well I should have been working on that for a while. Launch attack even while immobilized or reeling from damage can use while well airborne. <laughs> Uh, system defense. 
regen, magic guard. I'll do that one and maybe a regen. I'm just gonna have to properly learn how to block. Uh, and you know what? Put that on you for now. I have a lot left. I have one of the hardest at least. Yeah. There should be a bear weapon at some point as well. Awesome. Okay. I remember getting a little turned around at one of the jumping points in this place. Uh, I'll know it when I see it, but hopefully I don't get too, too confused here. <laughs> Timmy and Tommy didn't even have a shuffle. All of this on me. So I have to wait five minutes between each reset. Oh dear. So I'm gonna be using uh, this ability more. That's actually kind of a cool one. Oh yeah, another one in the bag. Not me impatiently waiting for PlayStation to update their Plus thingy. Um, actually, yeah, I don't think I've checked what games are on PlayStation Plus for June. We usually try to grab all the games each month. I got confused with this part navigating, not gonna lie. Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one, because, yeah, it was uh, a, little, a little confusing. That one on so that I can learn it. You want Sly Cooper? That's all you want. I'll think for Red's next weapon, it's through a side quest, which we need to do. Awesome. I'm gonna have to work. I'm coming down with a bug, I think. All the business to hospitals. Yeah, it's exposed you to every bug in existence. I know that pain. Feel better soon. Take it nice and easy. A dead end, all right. I think I've been feeling a smidge under the weather recently as well, but I think it's literally just been having really cold temperatures that have not been seasonal. Also, it was this area I got stuck in. I don't remember why. Or need someone to unlock this thing from the control unit upstairs. Mm -hmm. <sighs> if I have to. Uh. I think it was this that got me. Right, and then triangle, bring that down. There we go. Deep cut showed up. <laughs> yeah, I think that's one nice thing. I wasn't expecting them to do that ace, but having it be just something you can get on your own. There we go. Turn out to be the only console I keep. It's currently all you have and a PC as well, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm far too torn between PlayStation and uh and uh or Sony, sorry, and, and Nintendo. Get ready for the feeding of a lifetime. Should we put that on this for a reason?
to him to see my email to him to him to him to him to be promoting or anything. Oh, no, no, feel free, feel free. I am intrigued. You can tell me wherever you prefer. Um, okay, so there's... Oh, okay, we're going upstairs. I see, I see. Oh, that was satisfying. Oh, dare drop about police similar. That would be kind of fun. I need to go back and look on dare drop. I only did it once for uh, the snapping game, but it was a fun build. No surprises there. It was a fun, uh, fun experience. I liked it. Okay, so we got that weapon. Upgraded real quick. Uh, windstorm, create a gust of wind that damages nearby enemies and launches them towards you. I think I remember using that one quite, quite a bit. Um, okay, I think that took away a lot of my materia, mind you. It did, uh... I am less than pleased about this. <laughs> okay, so I played Ellie Noir. I like like being a cop, and it was a new update coming out. I guess. Not sure if it's just me, but you're difficult to hear when you're in combat because of all the effects. Yeah, the game kind of gets incredibly loud. I'll try to turn it down a little bit more here for you. Uh... There we go. We'll see if that helps at all. Thank you for letting me know. A love river, same here. This is my game of the year. <laughs> oh, already rude. I had the same issue playing it. My important job. Been turned the TV down every time it gets into combat. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's 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 just loud. Uh, oh. Oh. Wait a minute, that seems like a beautiful opportunity down there. Um. Oh, fancy. <laughs> Brain raw for two months when it came out. Yeah, same here. I'd love to breathe it for a while. But yeah, no, uh, I was saying it earlier, but, uh, this game has some really weird audio balancing sometimes. Sometimes just the standard background music and like I have it turned down and stuff. It'll overpower the voices in very particular moments and it's like, that's annoying. I need to play more. A shovel knight kind of stole all attention yesterday. Just need to wait out Kyogre and it worked. One to go. I've been doing pretty good. Uh, ooh, I don't remember his name. I know his, uh, Wind Waker name. But I know it changes a little bit. I was expecting much from, uh, Dragon Age, but that could be my game of the year if it ends up being as promising as the gameplay they showed off as. That'd be really cool if, uh, came out of nowhere and earned that top spot for you. Make way for the amazing Oh, I forgot to set up the new ability. Can't fault him for trying. 
Oh, the first one. Okay, okay, got you, got you. I thought you were talking about like Zelda's dad. <laughs> Decimated. <laughs> Isn't that chic? <laughs> uh, let's see. This is damaged up by basic attacks. That could be pretty nice. So those aren't working again. These aren't working again. Okay, so we'll be able to hit that from there. So we're gonna have to go around uh, at that section. We got whatever the heck this thing is. Wow, you're fancy. We got that now. Blocking their melee attacks will pressure them, evading the swoop or cockadoodle kick. The heck did I just read? Uh, will pressure them for a longer period of time. always feels like they they get mastered much more quickly if you put them on uh, a shortcut command there okay so there's that um, and I need to be up there Launch. <laughs> Yuffie <laughs> there we go oh welcome back if there's two of those monsters, then Baird's weapon is nearby. Oh, okay. Thank you. So we're gonna hit that. It's down a ladder over there. Oh, hello, sir. Sure, I think I'm good, but I appreciate it. I hope you have an awesome day. Thank you so much for, uh, for the rating and, and for hanging out for a bit. Uh, let's see where- oh, okay. Yeah, I see, I see. Oh, this way. So I assume we have to go down here then. Hey, Bri, it's been good. We've had some thirst already. We've been uh, treated to a Rufus Shinra scene, so I've been happy with my life. <laughs> and uh, it's been good. Let's just go all the way back up. Is that all this is? Okay, it looks like it. Thank you. 
Who's been thirsty? We all have. Let's just all admit it. <laughs> oh, hello. Okay. There's the two of them. Definitely, definitely not. Never. You uh, got this? You even have to ask? Okay, so there's that. I just want to make sure we don't miss the fairy weapon. How's the battle audio? Has it been a little bit better? Presses X to doubt. Barrage Blaster. Okay. You know what's funny? I completely forgot you had Barret and Tifa with you for this section. I just remember having Yuffie. Uh, lifesaver. Temporarily increase your HP and take damage intended for party members. True, someone get me into a into a tangent and we'll we'll talk. Red-headed vampires in this game. I'd like to know your feelings about that. Red-headed? No? There is a red-themed person who is potentially probably a vampire. <laughs> we appreciate your hydration, which you can get from Chief Silver 20% off your next order. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh god, oh, oh. Ah, there we go, okay. Okay. Use discount code simply press start for 20% off your G Fuel order. Now while I appreciate it, and I hope if you guys are at all interested, you can use my code. Did Brian did Brian say he was okay with, with, with that? <laughs> We're both playing a game with Cloud in it right now, as we all should be. Or the blue raspberry vanilla hydration one again. We get, get fun. Was able to snag raspberry lemonade. The blue raspberry one came in yesterday. Very nice. 
I, uh, I mentioned it, I think, a bit ago, but I've been really, really enjoying, um, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, it's a cherry slushy. It's like, it's not as sharp of a cherry flavor as I was expecting. It's really nice. I can grow my own Vincent. <laughs> Sorry, where am I going here? Uh, I am missing something. Leave a pumpkin out through a full moon and don't harvest it. Harvest all the other pumpkins. It'll turn into a vampire. The vampire has to wear the pumpkin as a head for a month. <laughs> I don't want to see that. Oh, can you just swim back? Thank you. I don't know why I'm like this. There we go. I remember doing that in my first playthrough too. I'm like, how the heck do you get back? A redhead apart from one says combine the two together. Oh, okay, thank you, I see. Oh yeah, um, definitely have a redhead thing, but like also just the characters that are bad, but not fully bad. You know, they, they have redeemable qualities. Not the Hojos of the world, you know? Uh, but I think my favorites are the ones that like kind of turn over a leaf later and are actually quite nice. Also, by the way, affection, I just want you to know I still have our DM open uh, on my side screen here just in case like I need notes or something. And every time I look over, I just see that picture of the soft serve ice cream you sent yesterday and it's, it's driving me up a wall. <laughs> I would like. The Sephiroth count. I mean, he he's kind of the opposite. He starts off pretty cool and then he loses his marbles, so... Uh, I don't think he necessarily fits, unfortunately. Now, before he goes nuts, I actually think he's a really fun character. Oh, in Wade's Discord. <laughs> That's funny timing. I'm gonna make him worse. <laughs> oh, great. Uh... Oh, I'm a redhead. I got a lot of red in my hair. I'm just saying, oh, we're here for it. My hair was a lot more red as a kid. It's kind of calmed down now. It also depends on how much sun it gets. I'm assuming this doesn't work right now? Okay. <laughs> We're doing a new during procedure. Uh, not again. Why do I gotta do all the work? Her hair and your dad's dark skin. Oh, that must be an interesting combination for both of you, actually. Oh. Oh. Bye, guys. It just left me. Oh, right, I forgot you could go through the boxes. successfully missed pretty much every single box. There we go, never mind. Uh, where am I? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Just slamming poor Yuffie into these boxes. Let's 
see what Tiggy was up to earlier. Sure. Uh, uh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Natural light blonde hair is not great from being in the sun. My hair is red leaning. Like a medium blonde, you'd say. you yet? I have out. I have. Okay, cool. Taco Bell for dinner. <gasps> Enjoy! I think I might see if I want to get Taco Bell this coming weekend. We didn't order anything all this last weekend. We were perfect. <laughs> so. You be. I literally thought that was an alert again. I've been tricked twice by that now. <laughs> Your hair also got darker when it got longer. Yeah. Mine, like, I had the Shirley Temple curls as a kid, like the color, everything, and then as I got a bit older, strawberry blonde would probably be what people would describe my color as. It got darker, um, but in the sun it definitely gets sun bleached, and these days, because it's usually dyed, I prefer it dark, so. I didn't see the Tiggy picture! Wait. Oh, by the way, welcome back. Oh, he was climbing up his own AC unit. He's like, I like the wind. <laughs> good time to save? It is, yeah. Oh, it's a very good time to save because I remember who we're seeing next. Best character. Yeah, it stopped being curly and kind of got wavy, right? Yeah, my hair definitely does not curl as hard as it used to. It's ADC, he does not like the wind. Oh, that's really funny. I know Ollie doesn't want like a strong wind blowing on him, but we have an air purifier that puts out, you know, clean air in the living room. And we found him just standing with his face over top of it, just enjoying the breeze and his whiskers. It's very funny. Look at, look at the babies. Hims likes clean air. Yeah, he enjoys a little breeze. Look at the babies. We have to help them. And Way ahead not baby. Again. Hey, over here, bird brain. Pick on some of your own size. Oh, whoa. <laughs> You good? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh. Very good of you. Oh, oh. Sorry, muscle memory from Cloud. That's my assess combo. Okay. Let's see what we're working with. Now, chat, guess, is it literally just the name of the enemy? <laughs> uh, inflict enough damage while it is in the air will pressure it and force it to descend. Using elemental magic on the cyclones it conjures will imbue them with elemental energy. 
become pressured if hit by one of these enhanced sight bombs. actually fantastic timing oh my god uh okay so i don't know if yuffie has any synergy with the team yet so i'm gonna try to set that up their team i think they do oh right i should have been using that okay Uh, okay, avalanche, two step, stagger foes. Yeah, sure, why not? That looked really cool. And yeah, I agree, this is a neat design for this creature. Oh, it's on now, bird! Thank you, Jacob. We'll see you. You got this. You okay, this. so you're conjuring cyclones, and we've heard that if we use elemental magic on the cyclone, it's good. I think. When can I? When am I able to target the cyclone? Unless I just completely misread that. I don't think I did that. Using elemental magic on cyclones, it conjures. will imbue them with elemental magic. Okay. Uh, yes. Hello, how? Oh, this'll be fun. against Burb. I brought in a prettier Burb. Oh, there was the tornado. I saw that there. You're reduced right now. Oh. Uh... Yeah, I saw it there and then I clicked on the boss instead. You had to get attention. Okay, so there's a cyclone. Fire. No, I still can't. Okay. Do you even heal on the way out? I love that. Heads up. Don't think 
Look at baby. <gasps> Look at him go. <laughs> Come here. Or not? <clears throat> I'd like to think what that's the? an all fancy thirteen reference right there. <laughs> Leave me alone. Hey. Someone has a fan. Aw, no fair. <sighs> Got enough hangers on already, but fine. Bird dad. <laughs> <sighs> hey, hey, hmm? check out its head. Does it remind you of anyone? Oh. <laughs> it's cloud only cute. <gasps> hey. <laughs> Settles it. I hereby dub thee Cloud Junior. <laughs> hey, we could take that minecart down. Save ourselves a hike. Not the oh, smoothest this is so ride, funny. but it sure is fast. <laughs> Me and Dine used to. <sighs> Forget it. Let's just lower the bridge and get back to the others. Bear it. Oh yeah, little Cloud Junior hanging out with us. He's the best new character we could have asked for. Uh, all right, we got a phone. Oh, rude. Let's gonna let them know that we're about to lower it. Yeah, fast-paced okay. action, flying fast-paced rides. Did. Nope. But which one? Hey, you back up. this. Uh. First that, then. <sighs> they did it. Nice. Right. Now that the bridge is good to go. Let's touch base with the others. Roger. Hello, hello. This is Special Agent Yuffie. Can you read me, Commander Cloud? How you doing? Feeling better? I'm good. We'll take a cart back down. You three follow the tracks till you hit the bridge into town. Figure we link up there before heading in. You copy? Copy. Oh, and set our route while you're at it, will you? The gentler the ride, the better. Don't want anyone losing their lunch. I'm begging you, Cloud, please. <laughs> I wouldn't mind some excitement, but what you gonna do? Yeah, so we got options here, chat. I think I'm probably gonna let you, you all decide. Uh, oh, okay, I need my materia back. <laughs> there we go. I think I did bear it my first way, too. Or my first playthrough, I should say. Get ready. That's it. No, it's got it. Eh? Shatter! Slop 
Oh, it's so satisfying. It's the only thing with the ice uh, material is it, it's not like uh, homing. So if an enemy moves, it kind of sucks. But if they don't move and they land right on top of it, it feels awesome. I can't remember where the. Uh... We should be able here to switch go. the track here. Okay. Use the lever to select which route your companions will take. Currently set to bear its preferred route. I think I saw a lot of people saying that. So pretty much chat. Yuffie gets very motion sick, let's say, on moving vehicles, including this minecart. Um, whereas Barrett wants to, you know, relive his, his youth and, and go on a, a wild ride. Um, do we go Barrett's route? Which is that one? Or do we go... Yuffie's route, which is this one. I think so far most people seem to be saying Barrett, but I think I'd, I'd explain what we're talking about first. Um, mind you, I do feel kind of bad for her, but it is actually a very funny cutscene. <laughs> Motion sickness does suck though, I get it. We could do a quick poll. Uh... Back to having every spirit in Smash again. Look at you go. Alright. Uh... Alright, should be coming up now. Barrett or Yuffie route, chat? You all get to the side. So far we're 100% for Barrett. <laughs> oh my god, poor Yuffie. I don't blame you all. <laughs> Oh man, I think I'm gonna get like a tea or something when I go on break. My throat is not feeling fantastic. And I'm hoping that's just allergies. Oh, oh, some people coming through for you, Fee. There needs a hug. If he's strong enough to ask for hugs, he is not. He, he sounds really good. Something warm for my throat. I'm sorry if I'm a little quiet. Alright, I think unless people swoop in at the very last second, we are decided we're gonna leave it then. That is currently on Barrett's route. Do you think the others are gonna be okay? These tracks seem about ready to fall apart. I have a feeling they'll hold for a while yet. You do? Of course. I'm standing on them, aren't I? Wait, I've read about this. Cats and dogs can sense all kinds of stuff through their paws. Things our feet could never pick up on. Yeah, they're super sensitive. Your pads, right? Except that mine can discern far more than any pet. So, Red? No. I didn't even say anything yet. You didn't have to. One squeeze? No. I want to touch the toe If not for me, at least for Cloud? I mean, I am kind of curious. Let me touch the toe bean. How I'll give this? you the, the little rolling massage thing. You a foot massage. I see those like spa videos for cats and dogs where they have like a little rolly like moisturizer thing for like the toe bean pads. I'll give that to you, Red. No more cracked, cracked toe beans. Don't hold back. <laughs> Also, thank you for the rainbow cam, Al. I hope you're having a great day. Oh, come on, man. some more rebirth first. Get him! Time to that's it. That's it. Enough. <sighs> Moving on then. Wish my dogs would let me give them spas, but instead they turn into ultra demons that are over nine thousand power level. 
Ollie's pretty good. He doesn't like people touching his toe beams, especially on his bummed leg. Um, but he's good about getting his nails clipped and stuff. He's, I think he just kind of goes into shock that we manhandle him that much. Because usually we, we give him his space and we don't really bug him too much. All right. Yeah, no. We got off very, very lucky with Ollie. I'm not really a big fan of this one. It's on now. Get ready. You're mine. All done. Oh, there's an Among Us update that was supposed to be shadow dropped on the 18th. The GameSpot accidentally posted the trailer early. Oh, whoopsies. That's always awkward. Gonna get licked off in seconds. Yeah, I've never tried with Ollie. Um, I will say with his medication pretty recently, he had uh, an ear rub that like went on like the inside of like the fleshy part like of his ear. Spot. Let's call him up. Tell him we're here. And uh, I think it got him actually more comfortable with having his ears kind of touched. Uh, he seemed to actually enjoy a little ear massage with it, so... Just didn't like the, like, cool feeling after, I'm guessing. Thought other companies were in things for another... Yeah, like, it always sucks when it was meant to be a surprise and then something like that gets leaked early. Direct is likely next week, since that's the only event that would have made sense for it to be shadow drop from... Yeah. Just don't Cloud. like putting liquid in. What's yeah. What's looking like? Do what I could. Should be fine. Are you sure? Like, really sure? <laughs> Thanks for that. Sit tight. We'll be down soon. Only way out is through. So buckle up, Buttercup. Uh, speaking of doggos, love any ear massages. There's a really old video floating around online, but it's one of my favorites of two labs one of them needs some sort of ear medication and with the ear medication it like gets rubbed in right so it's like a little ear massage um the other one doesn't need ear medication but he waits his turn and then he goes over and like you know gets the medication in quotation marks they like pretend to do it and then give him an ear rub too and it's the cutest thing Guys, already this is gonna be fun. It's just a card. It can't kill you. The babies are just staying. All right, aim and shoot. <laughs> oh, there's a buzz on this track. Oh, that's that one. Junior can't breathe. <laughs> You're going down. This isn't on the OST. Gosh darn it. There's so much that isn't there. Going 
I think we're coming up to the funny part. But again, you all chose this, okay? Okay? I'm seeing stars. Cloud, you're so gonna pay for this. <laughs> Give the man a break. I think it was a memorable experience. Still alive? Miraculously, yeah. <gasps> Who's this? It's Baby Cloud. Along. Wait a sec. <laughs> that is uncanny. I know, right? Meet Cloud Jr. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Jr. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that line. <laughs> Mom. Or dad, we don't know. Didn't even get to say goodbye. At least we know he's with family now. We'll miss you, Cloud Jr. <gasps> hey Alex, how have you been doing? I hope you've been good. Come on. All right, finally here. Um, oh, we're a little bit more friendly with Barrett. Uh, this is gonna be. Oh, we can now use the grappling hut. This is gonna be Corral. You can actually see the gold saucer right there, which. Uh, oh, I'm I'm excited. I love the gold saucer. <laughs> they did such a great job. Uh, but before we continue on, friends, I hate to take a pause here, but I do need to go on a stretch break. Yeah, it's not very gold, is it? It's like silvery white, you know? Um, yeah, hang tight. Enjoy the BRB videos. And when we come back, we're going to be heading into uh, Corral, which is Barrett's hometown, getting a little bit more info there. Also some backstory with, uh, with Tifa, so uh, hang tight, and I will be right back. 